husky in the rain let's type in some prompt like that husky right here husky in the water husky in the rain so what is up guys and welcome back to a new video and in this video we're going to be checking out all of the new features of apple intelligence in the 18.2 update so let's not waste any time let's get straight into the video and let's check out all of the new features of the apple intelligence guys before we get started with the video you guys got to keep one thing in mind that you got to head out to general and make sure that your language and region is set to the united states and only if your region is set to the united states the apple intelligence features is going to work because as of now it's only compatible with the us so yeah make sure that it's set to united states and only then can you access these features so once you made sure that that is set up we can get started with the video so guys let's get started with the first feature the first feature is this playground app which is right here so we go into playground and what it is is basically you can create any kind of ai image based on like certain prompts and stuff so yeah you can head out right here and this is the playground app if you want you can describe some sort of text right here maybe like a crocodile probably surfing and that should generate an ai image based on your prompt and you guys can also see there are a lot of suggestions right here and you could select one of these themes and based on the theme it will update the image and you can create an image with that theme as well and another cool feature about this is so you guys know this is a pretty general ai feature to generate image but right now you can also select people so you can select any person right here and once you select the person it generates an ai image using the person as well and yeah a lot of options right here so this is a pretty cool feature and you can generate any kind of ai image based on your prompt i could also head out to show more to select a lot of other options as well for your theme your costumes and stuff like that so yeah you have specific costumes as well so if i select astronaut it kind of adds in and then it will generate an image with an astronaut kind of a suit as well so yeah pretty cool this is one of the features which is pretty cool now and the main thing about this is that you can add in people and generate these images which is pretty cool so for this feature let's head out to the notes app and it's kind of similar to a feature which is available on samsung so basically we just come here and we can draw pretty much everything so yeah probably we can draw something like an apple and yeah right here something like this and maybe if we want some color we can fill this thing with color and you guys can see that there is an option right here and this is called as the ai wand or an image wand so we go around here and circle around the diagram which we have drawn we add in a prompt saying that it's an apple and based on our diagram it ends up generating these ai images so yeah that's pretty cool too Another cool feature which has come into the notes app is that we can come in here and type uh, probably a story or a small description something like a winter morning and similarly we can come in here and we have this ai wand right here we just need to select this option and circle around this empty area and it will generate an image based on our prompt yeah you guys can see that based on our prompt it has generated the image right here so yeah that's pretty cool too so you can write a small description or a story and it will generate an image based on your prompt so guys now we're going to be talking about a feature which has been waited for for quite some time and ever since we've heard about apple intelligence we've heard about this feature and it's the gen emoji feature so basically we can type in any prompt and create an emoji so we just need to come into the image section in our keypad head out right here type in an emoji probably um, husky in the rain let's type in some prompt like that search it up and it will take some time but it's going to be generating an emoji guys check this out it's generated an husky right here husky in the water husky in the rain so yeah it's going to be generating several emojis based on your prompt which is a pretty cool feature and it's something that we've been waiting for for quite some time and yeah it's finally here let's try out another prompt and let's generate another emoji using this feature let's type in something like crocodile eating and let's see what this generates it's gonna take some time but we'll get some results for sure so yeah you can check this out it's generated these emojis of a crocodile eating and yeah it's in the pond and yeah quite a few emojis drinking water and yeah here is an emoji of the crocodile eating once you like some emoji and you want to add it in you can just click on this button right here 
and once you do that this emoji will come into your keypad right here so you just click on this and all of your gen emojis which you had created and added will appear right here so yeah this is pretty cool and after a long wait it's finally here now so another cool feature which has come into this update is a feature called as image intelligence and for this you need to long press on the camera button right here and this opens up to what looks like a camera but here there are two features which open up one is ask and the other one is called search so guys just so you know chat gpt has been like very much integrated with the new ios update so a lot of features which have been introduced in this update they involve the integration of chat gpt which is pretty cool so yeah let's see what this image intelligence is all about so you can click an image and then you can probably search the image which is similar to your google lens and it just looks up the image online but apart from that you could also click on ask and this is what brings in the integration of chat gpt so chat gpt it analyzes your image and generates prompts and you could go into more specifics just to understand to what extent is the image analysis so you could ask it something like what do you see in this image in this image So it takes some time and then generates a response. This scene shows a Pikachu figure inside a pen holder containing various pens and a toy camel. Pikachu, known from the Pokemon franchise, adds a playful touch to the desktop. And the image analysis on this is like actually really good. So you guys can try out different prompts. You'll probably get a better idea if you try it out for yourself. But the image analysis using the chat GPT is like really, really good. So guys, definitely try that out. This is going to be the end of the video. I've showed you some of the main key features which have been introduced in the 18.2 update. If you guys like the video, please do drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, also subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.